Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday Morning. It's Stephen Whiteside here from theuptrend.com. In the pre-market this morning, stock index futures are trading above fair value. Dow futures currently up 100 points, while commodities are trading lower. Gold is down another $30 in the pre-market this morning, while crude oil is down 30 cents. We'll break uh, today's presentation up into two parts, starting off looking at the U.S. market, and then we'll finish off looking at the Canadian market. Uh, the VIX came down hard yesterday, certainly closed below the previous day's low, uh, trading right down into the channel. So on Tuesday, we're looking for a close on the VIX below 1627 to give us a new daily sell signal. What worked yesterday? Well, the chip sector was the big winner, but it ended up with an inside day, so really a day of indecision. Uh, after the uh, chips, it was regional banks, uh, the banks themselves, and then the uh, broker-dealers. Those were the other big winners on the day. What uh, didn't work? Well, the Dow was up nicely yesterday, but didn't generate a buy signal, so traded right up to the upper channel line. We saw a lot of strength in some individual Dow stocks yesterday. Huge move up for Goldman Sachs. We had JP Morgan come back up and generated a buy signal yesterday. And then we had Procter & Gamble after generating a buy signal on Friday. It was up sharply on Monday. Procter & Gamble is not a stock that you usually see at the top of the uh, performance list, but uh, there it was on Monday and uh, coming up to uh, previous resistance. And I'm not sure it's going to be able to uh, break through that at the present time. Uh, looking at the S&P 500, we were talking about uh, the 5,000 level on the S&P 500 and the $500 level on the SPY. Uh, the index itself closed just above the 5,000 level, while the SPY closed just below the $500 level. And uh, we certainly traded above that uh, during the day. We, we got up as high as 502.38 on the day, so uh, no buy signal there. Now, volume was very light yesterday, and you know you can make a bull case, you can make a bear case based on volume. And what I mean by very light, if we go back to Friday's action, it was 102 million shares. Thursday's action was 74 million shares. And then if we go back a full week, it was 92 million shares were traded last Monday. So uh, definitely a big decline in volume on uh, Monday. So we won't know for a couple of days if the drop in volume is significant or not. Uh, so far, it's not stopping the market from moving higher. Now, the NASDAQ had an inside day. Technology stocks had an inside day yesterday, so a day of indecision. Uh, the iShares for the Russell 2000 traded up to the upper channel line. So did small caps and micro caps were up on the day. No change in trend, obviously, for any of those areas of the market. It certainly looks like we're still risk off right now. And you can see that uh, consumer staples continue to move higher. Of course, there's a difference between the products that you have to have and the products that you might want to have. And so consumer discretionary was up on the day after making a new low yesterday. So a big divergence there at the moment. That looks like risk off. And then we had money go back into financials, back into insurance companies and uh, back into utilities. Utilities uh, moving up and uh, trading uh, just above the previous high. So that all looks like risk off to me. Then looking at the S&P technology ETF, you can see yesterday was an inside day. Apple was up slightly on the day. NVIDIA had an inside day. And uh, then Tesla made a new low for this move on Monday. Now moving over and looking at the Canadian market, it was all about gold yesterday. Gold was down uh, $67 and change. It's down another $30 in the pre-market. Uh, so we've got gold and silver back on a sell signal as of Monday's close. Uh, the index and uh, the ETF is back on a sell signal. So we've got a sell signal for the bull, uh, the 2X bull. And we've got a buy signal for the 2X bear. Uh, looking at uh, the gold stocks, uh, the most actively traded gold stock yesterday was Kinross. It's still on a buy signal. That would change on Tuesday with a close below $8.66. Uh, B2 Gold already on a sell signal. No change there. No change for Barracks already on a sell signal. Big down move yesterday for G Mining Ventures. Uh, then looking at Osisco, it was down, closed down slightly on the day after trading in the channel. So uh, we need a close on Tuesday below $2.91. Uh, then we've got IM Gold rolling over back on a sell signal as of Monday's close. 
And the biggest player in this sector was down nearly 3% on the day, but no sell signal just yet. For Agnico Eagle, we're looking for a close on Tuesday below $84.01. Now, looking at the TSX itself, it traded up into the channel. The TSX 60 traded up into the channel, so certainly a possibility of a buy signal on Tuesday. No joy for mid caps, small caps, or micro caps. Now, looking at some of the individual sectors, Consumer Staples is back on a buy signal as of Monday's close. Energy stocks still treading water here in the channel. Uh, certainly, if we move up on Tuesday, we could see a buy signal for energy stocks. Not that I would chase them. Financials trading back in the channel. Certainly a possibility of a buy signal on Tuesday. That's also true for industrials. That's also true for Infotech. Uh, the big winner in the Infotech sector yesterday was HUT8. It was up... Uh, over 13% on the day, so back on a buy signal. No joy for Shopify. Shopify closing higher on the day, having an inside day. We're still looking for a close above $98.97 on Tuesday to give us a buy signal. Then we saw the telecom stocks trade in the channel once again, with Rogers generating a buy signal as of Monday's close. Okay, folks, that is all for this morning's presentation. Let's see if volume can pick up on Tuesday and if we can get the rally to broaden out a bit more. Unfortunately, gold is heading lower in the pre-market this morning, so we are expecting to see more sell signals in the gold and silver sector on Tuesday. Enjoy the rest of your day. Next time you'll hear my voice is on Wednesday morning. Thank you for watching today's presentation. If you found this video useful, please consider hitting the like button, sharing it, and subscribing to our channel to ensure you never miss a video. We look forward to having you join us for our next daily market update.